Hey everybody, welcome to another Couch Worship. My name's John, it's our uh, time to be together. I'm not on the couch today myself, but maybe you are there watching uh, from wherever you're watching from and you're on a couch, but uh, it's just our time. We call it Couch Worship because we can get together uh, wherever we are on the couch. I'm usually on the couch and uh, sing some songs, share some scripture together, uh, encourage each other in the midweek. And so uh, we wanted to do that today. So we're just going to sing a few couple songs today. Today is going to be a, a new song day. We're going to be uh, introducing a bunch of newer songs to our church, First Baptist Church in Danville. And uh, so we're going to be singing some of those in just a minute. But we're going to start off with a great song uh, today. It's called Overwhelmed. And it just reminds us of how amazing God is. I hope that you've gotten outside uh, and gotten to appreciate God's creation all around you with the beauty of the flowers, beauty of the skies. Uh, and as this song talks about in the beginning, talking about the galaxies spinning in a heavenly dance and we see the work of God's hands in all of it. So if you know it, feel free to sing along with us and feel free to say hi if you're checking in online with us today. So. Galaxies spin in a heavenly dance, oh God, all oh, that you are is so overwhelming. And I hear the sound of your voice, all at once it's a gentle and thundering noise, oh God, all oh, that you are is so overwhelming. myself in you, captivated by your beauty. I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed by you. God, I run into your arms, unashamed because of mercy. I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed. My God, and all that you've done is so overwhelming. I delight myself in you, in the glory of your presence. I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed by you. God, I run into your arms. God, I run it. 
we are overwhelmed by who God is and what he is, if we're just kind of going through and not really blown away by what God has done for you, then you probably haven't come to a really good understanding of who God is, who we are, and what he has done for us. Uh, when we realize our sin, when we realize um, how, fall sh how short we fall from his glory and his perfection, and realize that he made a way for us anyway through dying on the cross for us, man, it's overwhelming at times to realize all he's done for us. So, like I said, today we're going to do some new songs. Um, I think new songs are, are good. I mean, all the songs that you love, even those classics, at one point they were a new song. So, uh, we like to introduce some new songs. Uh, we, uh, we have a system here at, at our church where we kind of uh, play a song, and if it really catches on, if, if it's something that you know, our church-wide would really uh, get a hold of as a church, uh, we'll keep it in the mix for a while. Um, and as songs kind of lose their thing, we'll, we'll retire them as well and kind of send them off. Uh, they serve their time for a little bit, and they move on. So we're going to uh, hear some new songs today. Um, this first one's called, I Will Trust My Savior Jesus, and it's by a group called City Alight. I uh, encourage you to check them out if you if you like this one. There's a lot of other ones that we do. Um, we've done a few by them. I think Yet Not I, But Through Christ in Me is one that we've we've done for a while now. And this is a great one, talking about trusting our Savior, Jesus. And I'm just going to read a couple words before we get into it. It says, I will trust my Savior, Jesus, when my darkest doubts befall. Trust him when to only trust him seems the hardest thing of all. Have you ever been there? Have you ever been there where it's just, just trusting God it seems to be the hardest thing to do in that moment? We try to fix everything on our own, but to just trust that God knows what he's doing, man. That's really hard. Second verse says, um, I can trust my Savior Jesus, trust him when my strength is small, for I know the shield of Jesus is the safest place of all. It reminds me of a verse in Psalms. I had it looked up here. Let me see if I have it still. Uh, right. Psalm 62 verse 8 says, trust in him. At all times, O people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. He is our shield. He is our refuge for us. And the chorus simply says, Jesus, only Jesus, help me trust you more and more. Jesus, only Jesus, may my heart be ever yours. It's a simple prayer, but it's a challenging prayer for us today. So I encourage you to, uh, as we learn it together, uh, feel free to play it back a couple times so you can know it. So when we introduce it at church, you'll be able to sing along. The choir introduced this uh, this past year, and uh, we're going to be doing it for as a congregation pretty soon. So here we go. I will trust my Savior Jesus when my darkest doubts befall. Trust him when to only trust him seems the hardest thing of all. And I can trust my Savior Jesus, trust him when my strength is small. For I know the shield of Jesus is the same. Jesus, only Jesus, help me trust you more and more. Jesus, only Jesus, may my heart be ever yours. I will trust my Savior Jesus. He has said his way is best. For I know the path he's chosen leads to everlasting rest. And Jesus, only Jesus, help me trust you more and more. Jesus, only Jesus, may my heart What can I bring 
for your gift is complete so i trust you simply trust you lord with every part of me jesus only jesus let me trust you more and more jesus only my heart be ever yours. Jesus, only Jesus, help me trust you more and more. And Jesus, only Jesus, may my heart be ever yours. Amen. Well, let me know what you think of that one. We're going to be... Uh reintroducing it uh, for our services uh, pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that one. I will trust my Savior, Jesus. I hope that we can do that more and more in our life. That's our prayer. And that's our prayer today, God. For those that are listening right now, God, I pray that you would help us, help all of us to trust you more and more, more and more. Each day, God, just help us to trust you, help us to offer our lives to you, knowing that you know best in every single situation, God. You know best. So that's a new song, I Will Trust My Savior Jesus. There's another one we're going to introduce right now. It kind of ties in, same kind of theme. There's a lot of trusting and um, just offering ourselves to God in a lot of these songs. I think, especially in this time period, uh, these songs are really just speaking to me, and I believe they're going to speak to the church as well, that we just need to trust him in all situations and trust that he is still in control and he is still going to guide us to the best place for us, for ultimately for us, wherever that is. And so... This is a great song called Build My Life, uh, made popular by, I believe, Pat Barrett. Um, and the chorus says this, Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. What a cool prayer. What a great prayer. Show me who you are. Fill me with your heart. Oh, Holy Spirit, we want more of you in our hearts. We want you to guide us. And the last part, lead me in your love to those around me. We can't, we can't, we can't start with that last line. We can't go and lead. We can't go with love to those around us until we understand who he is. So that's why it says, show me who you are and fill me. Fill me with your heart. And with that filled heart, that's where we can go. And then lead me in your love to those around me. I love it. I love the order of this song. And the rest of the song is very worshipful. And then the bridge part of the song is just a prayer saying, I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation. I will put my trust. There we go. There's that trust again. I will put my trust in you alone and I will not be shaken. I will not be shaken because there are so many things today that want to shake us from our foundation, steer us off course to the things that are flashy, to the things that are new, where the wave of people are headed. We're being drawn away to those things, but this is a great song reminding us that we will not be shaken. We need to stand firm on God's word and on who he is, that we would be filled up with that. So this is Build My Life. Worthy of every song we could ever sing.
song so looking forward to introducing that one it's called build my life made popular by pat barrett i think chris tomlin tamed up with him in a recording of it that's out there so if you like chris tomlin you could check that out too um if you have any verses i want to challenge you um i know people watch this uh couch worship later sometimes so uh even if you're tuning in after the fact why don't you post some verses about trusting in god and uh that he is faithful, that he is trustworthy, those kind of verses so that people can uh, reference that later after they watch this. Maybe they'll be encouraged or challenged to look up some of these verses. So I want to challenge you as you're listening and as you're tuning in, if you would uh, you know, find some of those verses about trusting in God. And uh, this next song is a new one, but kind of an old one. Uh, a group, I believe it's Sovereign Grace, is the group. And they write some great uh, hymn-like modern music. And they took a, a chorus from probably about, boy, 20 years ago or so, um, Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. And they added a chorus to it, which is great. It just adds so much uh, to the song. And then they added a few other verses. I don't remember these verses the first time I sang Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. Um, but they're turning, the different verses have different uh, things to focus on about Christ. I love it. So the first one is obviously turn your eyes upon Jesus and look full in his wonderful face. So the first is obviously turn our eyes to Jesus. But then second verse talks about turning our eyes to the hillside and it talks about where justice and mercy embrace. What are we talking about there? The next line says, there the Son of God gave his life for us 
and our measureless debt was erased. What a great line. I love that line because it's so true. Our measureless debt, we would never be able to pay off the debt that we owed. And there on the hillside, on Calvary, justice and mercy embraced and the Son of God gave his life for us where our measureless debt was erased. Awesome. Third verse uh, says, Turn your eyes to the morning and see Christ the Lion awake. What a glorious dawn. Fear of death is gone. For we carry his life in our veins. We do. We carry him in us. He lives within us. Um, it's just awesome. So there it's talking about our resurrect, the resurrection morning where uh, Christ rose from the grave uh, all victorious like a lion. Uh, he rose uh, triumphant and fearsome and conquering. I love it. And then finally, verse 4. Like I said, in, in most couch worships, you'll hear me say this. Most last verses of songs, especially hymns, uh, turn our eyes to the coming kingdom, to heaven, to the thing we have to look forward to the most. And here we have it again in verse 4. Turn your eyes to the heavens. Our king will return for his own. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will shout. All glory to Jesus alone. Wow, this is awesome. So I'm thrilled with this one. It's great because it should be a familiar tune to many of us. We've, we, many of us grew up singing, Turn your eyes upon Jesus. And uh, the melody is the same. And they just added this great little chorus uh, that just says, Jesus, to you we lift our eyes. Jesus, our glory and our prize, we adore you. Behold you, our Savior ever true. Oh, Jesus, we turn our eyes to you. So, here you go. This is the debut of it. We'll be introducing it in a couple weeks, hopefully. Uh, but you're getting a sneak peek of it here at Couch Worship. And I hope it just speaks to your heart today, too. So if you're tuning in later, after the fact, uh, I hope this just ministers to you, too, that we can, you need to turn our eyes, we need to all turn our eyes to the Lord and not get distracted by the things around us. So. Turn your 
rise to the heavens. Our King will return for His own. Every knee will bow, every tongue will shout. All glory to Jesus alone. Yeah, we sing it. Come on, Jesus. church good one i hope it is we're going to be singing it so i hope you enjoy that one and i hope it just speaks to your heart man reminding us of all of the various parts of jesus that we need to focus on his his death his burial his resurrection his coming again i love it i love the song and we need to lift our eyes to him that's just an awesome song well thank you guys so much for tuning in again uh it's been a great time worshiping with you today i encourage you again to post any of those scripture verses because i know people watch this after the fact so even if you're after the fact feel free to look up some verses about trusting and put them there i wanted to play one song since i'm at the piano i don't get to play uh the piano much uh in these couch worships but it was set up for it so i decided to go with it um one of my favorite praise songs, and we, we don't sing it as much anymore, but uh, it's just a great reminder about waiting on the Lord. So maybe this song is going to speak to you in all of this trusting and trusting uh, themes that we've been singing about. Uh, perhaps the message of this song can also uh, just, again, speak to your heart in the waiting that we just need to wait for him and wait on the Lord. He is faithful. He is with us. He knows what we need uh, if we will just wait on him. This song is called Waiting Here For You. And so uh, we're going to close with that, and then we'll close with our benediction together. So, um. If faith can move the mountains, let the mountains move. We come with expectation. Waiting here for you Waiting here for you You're the Lord of all creation But still you know my heart Author of salvation, you've loved us from the start. We're waiting here for you with our hands lifted high in praise, and it's you we adore.
Thanks for tuning in to another Couch Worship Time together. We're looking forward to seeing you again, whenever that may be. So, uh, yeah, keep tuning in Tuesdays, Thursdays at 2.30, and hopefully we'll see you next time. See you later, church.